everyone! As you may notice, this is not my usual background. I am at the beach for the summer, so this is going to be our new background for a little while. If you can hear noises in the background, that is because directly in back of our house there is a bay with boats. It is summer, so it is a trillion thousand degrees and I am melting, so I'm not going to close the windows. Also, I sound like a frog. I've been sick in bed for two days, but I really wanted to get up and film some videos. Now that I've gotten that big intro out of the way, I'm going to start. Today I am filming a disappointing products video, but I also wanted to give you guys a better alternative to the products that I found disappointing. Disclaimer, you might love these products, and a lot of people do love some of these products. They just didn't work for me, so what works for me might not work for you, and what works for you might not work for me. We are all people. The first thing I'm going to talk about will come as a shock because I have never heard anyone say anything bad about this, and it is the Beauty Blender. I mean, I'm sure you've heard like a trillion and one people talk about this. It is a sponge that you put in water and then it grows and you dip it in your foundation or concealer or whatever and then you blend it in on your face. I know that mine is dirty because I refuse to spend $20 on a soap for the Beauty Blender. I think that's ridiculous and nothing else cleans it. I can't seem to get this to work. Whenever I use this and then I try to put on my foundation, it just seems like my foundation is just sitting on my face, it doesn't buff anything in, and it's supposed to give like a dewy finish or a nice finish, but it literally looks like I have taken a sponge and just put it to my face. I, I can't figure this one out. For foundation, I just love to use a buffing brush. This is the Real Techniques buffing brush. It is less expensive than the Beauty Blender, and I don't know, for me, this just works 10 trillion times better. Next, I'm going to talk about a concealer. This is the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Now, if you saw my e.l.f. haul slash mini review, you would know why I don't like this. Folks, be quiet. I don't like this because it's in the shade Light, and it is brown. This is so, so dark. I can't believe how dark this is. This is not light. Why do they call this light? I don't know. It's not light. A concealer I really love in the same form is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade Fair, but this actually is good at brightening, while this, not light. Next, I have a face product, and this may be surprising to those who have been watching my channel since the start. I know in the very beginning of my channel, like, three or four months ago, I used this product a lot. It is the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder. I'm not sure if I like this and something happened or if I never liked it and I just was like lying to myself, but this got something called hard pan. Now, if you don't know what pan is, that's when you hit the bottom and you can see the pan that the makeup is in. But hard pan is when your makeup gets a film on top of it and then it just doesn't, like the more, as much as you try to get product out of it, it just won't swatch anything. And that happened to this, but it kind of has been there from the moment I got it. Like I remember when I got it and I swatched it, it didn't really come out that well. And I thought like, oh, maybe it's just this product. But I heard Kathleen Light say that it happened to her friend. And I was like, maybe I am not alone in this. And some people were like, oh, well, if you scrape the entire the hard pan off, then it'll work. But like, oh, uh, what? And also I have tried to scrape it and it just, I don't know, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't give off any pigmentation. It's it's so odd that it would do that. Something for the same amount of money that I think is amazing is the e.l.f. Pressed Minimal Bronzer in Tan Toffee. This is just a matte bronzer and it's very warm so it's not a contour, it's definitely a bronzer. If you overdo it, it can be orange, but just don't overdo it. It's really pigmented and I just really, really, really recommend this. Next I have some eye products. The first one is an eyeliner that I got in one of my first hauls that I had on my channel. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio Eyeliner in Black. I hate this. I hate this so much. It's, it's just, it's a felt tip, but it's almost like a marker tip, but it's a lot longer than the felt tip that I'm used to, and it's so dry. I, I don't know what happened, but I used this the first time and I was like, it's fine. And now in order to get the winged eyeliner that I like, you have to go in so, it's so hard to use this. And like the ending product is fine. Like it looks fine and it's black, but the struggle to get there is not worth it 
at all. I do not recommend this. My holy grail eyeliner that I do recommend is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I was trying to replace this with the Maybelline Mon because it's cheaper, but nothing beats this. This is a felt tip that I'm used to, but it's just amazing. It stays all day. It doesn't matter if you get water on it. It goes on nice. This lasts me six months. This is just the best. Splurge on the high end because it really is better than this Maybelline one. The next eye product is something that a lot of people love, but I just can't seem to figure out, and they are the NYX Jumbo Pencils. I actually sent two of these to my friend Kira, and she likes them. I knew it's just me, like I knew I can't figure it out, but they just, they go, wait, Lily, get off my makeup. Lily, Lily, don't sit on that. Lily, stop it, Lily. The whole idea of this is it's like a cream eyeshadow in a stick, but when I put these on, they're so heavy. And I used to have two other shades. I had a gold glittery shade and like a pink glittery shade. I'm really sorry, I don't know what the names are. I sent them to Kira. But when I put them on my lid, I felt like there was a rock on my eyelid. That's how heavy it was. And also, you cannot sharpen these. You have to like freeze them and then try to sharpen them that way, but it just didn't work, and so now I have this like little stub. This is in Milk. This one is a little bit better. I used it for costume makeup on Halloween, but just in general, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend these. If you want a cream shadow, I would just buy a normal cream shadow. The Maybelline Color Tattoos are absolutely incredible. This is bad to the bronze. I'm almost out of it. Uh, I need a new one, but yeah, these are just amazing. I don't know, I feel like if you want a cream shadow, just buy the pots, don't buy the whole the stick thing. I don't know, I, I don't understand this. I have three things left, two lip products and one eye product. I'm going to start with the lip products. The first one is something that I myself was shocked about that I didn't like. I thought I would love this because everyone Everyone raves about this. This is the Sephora, it's the matte, what are they called? Cream lip stain in 01, it's the red one. And everyone and their mother and their mother's dog's boyfriend, it's mother's dog's boyfriend, dog's son of boyfriend. Anyway, everyone loves this because it supposedly stays all day and it's really matte and it's not drying. Okay, well I don't know what your definition of drying is, but this is the most drying thing I've ever felt, ever. It is really long lasting, I will give you that. If you want a lipstick that's gonna stay for 16 hours, this will do that. But when you put it on, it's like a cream, and you're like, oh wow, this is so great. And then when it dries, it dries so that you can see where you put more on. So like it could be really red right here and then lighter right here. And if you try to add another layer, it gets crusty. And who is it that always says she eats a hamburger with this on? Amelia Liana. Amelia Liana always says she eats hamburgers with this. Well, my friend, I'm a vegetarian, but when I try to eat my veggie wraps with this, it crumbles on my lips, like the very corner gets all crumbly and it looks horrendous. Also, when I smile, it sinks into the like the lines and then when I smile, there are big gaps without red because it like sinks into the part when you're not smiling. It's just, this is a nightmare. I don't understand why people like this. If you're looking for a matte red that's gonna stay all day and that isn't too drying, I recommend the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This is a very true red. And this is a little drying because all mattes are gonna be a little drying, but it stays all day. It doesn't do any of the horrible things that this one does, and it's not nearly as drying. I really, really like this one. Drink that juice. The next product is another product that everyone seems to love, and I actually don't blame this product. I blame the shade that I bought because I've seen people in other shades use this, and it looks really, really great. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Maple Blondie. Now, no one ever, ever talks about this shade, and I think there's a reason. It's really, really light to the point where it, like, if I put it on, it settles around my lips and in the back of my lips. So it's like, it's it wants to be sheer, but then it's like light, disgusting pink on the edge, and I don't know, it, it's just because of the pigmentation of this one, it's really odd. I really wish I had gotten 
the red one that I sent Kira or really any other shade. I do want to try another one, but this shade just, this is not worth it for me. If you're looking for a nice pigmented gloss that's in a light pink, don't buy this. Buy the Maybelline Elixir in 07, oh no, 075 Flourish. This is a beautiful light pink. It looks like a gloss, but it's super, super pigmented, but you can also make it very sheer. I don't know, I just really, really like this. So if you're on the hunt for some NYX glosses, just don't buy Maple Blondie. It's not a good shade. And the last thing was something, I think it was limited edition. I got it on sale, it was $25 and I got it on sale for $15, so it's not like, I'm not like gonna die because this is not amazing. I'm just, I was really looking forward to it being better than it was. This is the Sephora Primal Instincts palette and it has this little like, it's like a snake print and it's shiny. And then when you open it up, it has these shades and they look pretty, right? And yeah, I thought they were gonna be really nice. And if you can see, there's a big dip in this gold shade. I've used that shade a lot. When I first got this and I swatched it, I was like, wow, it's amazing. But then when you swatch it and you rub the swatch off your finger, it doesn't transfer onto your hand or onto your lid. I found that a lot of these shades were kind of exactly the same once you put them on. So I used it for a little bit and then I didn't use it for a while. And then I went back and I re swashed it and I was like, wow, this actually looks kind of nice. So I don't really know what's going on with this palette. I know that, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to blind you with this mirror. I know that right here and then these four shades are, they like swatch pretty well, but I don't know, it's just, all in all, it's not a great palette. The mattes in this shade, there are, there's a brown matte, brown, it's not even brown, it's like a weird brownie purple. There's a brown matte, a black matte, and then a white matte. Mattes suck. These are so patchy and not easy to work with. This gold shade is so different from every other shade though. This gold shade is amazing. It's more like an orange gold. I don't understand why that one is better than all the other ones. It doesn't really make any sense at all. But yeah, I don't know, I just can't figure this out. Now, I feel like something that has the same type of coloring as this would be the Naked 3 palette, and I don't have the Naked 3 palette, but I have a dupe for it. And it is the Makeup Revolution London palette in Redemption Palette Iconic 3. This has all the shades that the Naked 3 palette has, it's like a direct dupe. I watched a video and they are dupes shade for shade. So yeah, I don't know, just, I don't know if this is Sephora shadows in general or just this palette, but it didn't work for me. All right guys, so that was it for disappointing products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.